Hello, my name is Joe Rodriguez, and I will be demonstrating the Route Planner in Microsoft Streets and Trips. This program is excellent for planning a trip. It has a lot of flexibility that you can make stops and have a pretty good estimate as to when you're going to arrive or depart a particular location. This is the default screen that comes up when you first start up the program. I'm going to select the route planner from here. I'm going to say, here we go. Now, first thing I'm going to do is search for the city that we're going to be departing, which is Guffey, Colorado. Now, not too many people know where Guffey is, so we're going to search for it, make sure that the actual city that we're looking for is in the map. Uh, sometimes when you have the same name for a city, the program may get confused uh, and so you want to make sure that the uh, location is the correct one so we're going to say OK now since we have Guffy there we want to add it to the route and it will show it down in this portion of the screen all we're doing right now is adding the locations so now I'm going to add Rodwell, New Mexico we're going to find it we search for it and it's the right location so we say OK now we have to add it to the route uh, next one I want to stop in Raton New Mexico so we're going to select that we tell it to find it and it looks like it's the right location so we say OK and we're going to add that to the route oh also wanted to stop in Canyon City Colorado so we tell it to find it make sure it's the right city locations that we're going to be stopping now you notice the sequence here is not really the best way that we're going to be traveling so what we have to do is we want to move Roswell New Mexico with this particular tab right here it will move the city up we actually want to move it down so we want to go down to the bottom so we move Roswell to the bottom now Canyon City we actually want to move it up to indicate so we go from Guffey to Canyon City to return to Roswell from Guffey to Canyon City we would like to arrive at Canyon City at a certain time so we're going to tell it we want to arrive at 11 a.m. so I'm going to move this clock back and we also want to stay in Canyon City for two nights now this could be minutes hours whatever you wanted to do so you can uh, plan a uh, an arrival time and also uh, determine how long you're going to be staying there okay next uh, I want to arrive and uh, at return at 2 p.m. in the afternoon so I'm going to change this to 2 p.m. It could be any time but we're also going to stop here for one night and so it automatically puts that on there and so it'll be there now on Roswell it's important that I get there at 4 p.m. so I want to go back up here to schedule the stop and I want to say arrive at 4 p.m. Uh, and that's really the uh, end of our trip now we also have more options down here and basically here is when we want to depart drive when we want to start driving and when we want to end driving now I like to travel say leave at 9 a.m. and stop my driving at 5 p.m. but you can make it whatever you want now I also want to have a flexibility of about a half hour and I want to schedule automatic stop say for 30 minutes driving uh, two hours okay so I'm gonna say 30 minutes here and then on the time I want to go down to two hours so it's going to schedule that so we go, let's see how this works now we tell it to give us directions and we'll see how this plane works out so on day one I have to leave at 1027 from Guffey to arrive at uh, Canyon City at 11 p.m. So that one works out pretty good. 
I don't have any schedule stop because I didn't drive very far. And so we're going to stay there uh, for two nights. So on, oh, on day three, I'm going to depart Canyon City at 9 a.m. Notice they put a scheduled stop here uh, at about 11 after driving two hours. And it, it's given me all the directions. And I arrive at Raton at 11.37, which is really before the specified time that I wanted to be there. So that day is okay. On day four, I depart Raton at 9 a.m. And it also uh, has a break there because of driving two hours. And another stop there. And then I arrive at in Roswell at 2.11 which is earlier than the 4 p.m. specifying time I wanted. So my trip looks like it's in pretty good shape. It gives me a summary of how many miles I will be driving, um, the duration of the trip, how long it's going to take. The cost estimate came from the more options where I can actually put in here how many city and highway miles I get on my vehicle and we can estimate the cost of gasoline uh, based on what you drive. And uh, so there, it has a lot of information. You can go here. Uh, if you decide that you want to add another stop, let's go, let's take this, um, let's say that we wanted to add Pueblo. Move it over here. Want to add Pueblo, Colorado. We're going to search for it and say we like that. They have a restaurant there that I like to stop, so we're going to add that to the route. And now I'm going to move this up after Canyon City, because that would be the place that I would want to make that stop. And we want to stop there for one hour, because we want to stop at a restaurant. So we add that on there, and we tell it, uh, okay, now get directions. And let's see if that changed our our day three. We're going to stop there for one hour. And we arrive at Raton at 12, 12 p.m., you know, within the guidelines that we wanted. So it, it's really a very flexible program. Uh, another thing this particular version has, it has uh, little icons here on top. So you kind of want to look around. Uh, get familiar with it. A lot of this information you can find in the help, but this is really kind of like a quick demonstration of using the route planner, and I hope it's a benefit to you. Have a good day.